These are 30 by 30s, so they should be 25 by 25s. Um, I forgot how many there is. Three, five, six, nine? Yeah, nine. That's all of them. Okay. Not sure which one we should start with. There is more of these. I've seen other pictures that aren't in this set. As well as with the uh, Disney sets I opened previously. So, if I like these, I might get some of the other ones that weren't part of the set. Sorry, I'm trying to stack them all right next to me. And they don't want to cooperate. We'll start with this cute little kitty. It has 24 colors. Again, I probably would rather had it a little bit bigger so the cat had a little more detail in it. You're probably going to hear hear me say that about almost any painting like this. Because if this was a true 30 by 30, I think I'd be a little bit more happy with it. Not saying it's anything wrong with it this way. A lot of pinks. Pink is probably my least favorite color, so... This one's probably one of my least favorites that I'm going to run across of all these. Also, it's like a purse and stuff like that. I'm not into any of that stuff, so... <laughs> this one being makeup, uh, purse, and pink, completely not my style. Alright, so that one. So let's go with my least favorite colors first. Let's get the uh, next pink one out of the way. This one, I believe, is a Cracker Spaniel in um, a basket. Oh, no, it's a beagle. Okay. They all have normal trays with no bags or anything. Seems more of a cream pink, but... Again, I think it's going to be a cute painting when it's done. Not sure I'll end up doing this one though. I have a lot of paintings I like, and as I said, the pink's not really my thing, so that probably will just get pushed back. Sorry. Um, look at a cute puppy. It has 24 colors. Right. This is another pinkish one. This is a cat. And it looks like maybe donuts? Let's see. I slightly remember what all the pictures are because I printed the labels out. I put um I put a copy of this picture in with the drills so I can just look for the image when I'm looking for my drills. And I saved it to the image to my computer and sorted it that way, and yeah. I feel 
like my memory is not good for quite a few things, but when it comes to remembering an image I seen, not that bad. So it's a yarn basket. This one's a kitten in a yarn basket. Oh, the stick is nice on them. Which is nice. I'm working on one right now. The stick is crap. I'm tempted to just give up on it, but it's a small painting like this, and it's like, do I do it or not? But it the stick is so bad that the drills don't want to come off of the tools. And then when I do get them off of the tools, if you wipe them slightly, they wipe off the canvas. <laughs> so, yeah, not really a great canvas that I'm working on right now. Look at this cute little kitten. It has 24 colors. The drill area looks really good on all of them. Let's go from the pink to a more red. Now this one is a little more my style. It's still like a pink red color, but it's a caramel or caramel apples. It's kind of more Halloween. However, it's a black pug. And I just realized it's a black pug. I titled it Black Lab. I will have to fix that. <laughs> okay, so the light here is working for um, painting a little better, but... It is definitely not favorable for looking at the drills. I keep going to throw the drills on the floor with the garbage I have to pick up. <sighs> I have the drills sitting on the side of me and I have the garbage just laying on the floor on the side of me. Last few times I did this, I had a garbage bag laying there, but this time I'm just like, eh, pick it up off the floor, whatever. So yeah, this is a black pug and like a candy basket with some candy corns and candy apples. I, again, I like this part more. I'm not a fan of small dogs, so a pug is cute, but I'd much rather get a nice pit or a Mastiff breed, German Shepherd, uh, Australian Shepherd. I like the working and the larger dogs. It has 24 colors. My camera's making stuff look a little blurry, I think, but... It looks... Quite easy to read to me. The bees are a little, little light. However, they're definitely different than the black next to them or the red next to them. So, this little symbol that I might have trouble reading as a bee is going to be a bee. Quite easy to tell. All of them are all just letters. The letters are not in alphabetical order. If you care about alphabetical order. When I have canvases like this, I tend to um, put them in alphabetical order, and then when I'm done with the drills, I put them back in DMC order. I find it easier to flip through my book when they're in alphabetical order. Now, this one's a light blue. So, I don't know what just happened. My phone just stopped recording the video. Um... If it was in the last video or not, this is a light blue. It's a teapot of flowers. The stick on the side, again, though they didn't cover the side enough. So, it has extra stick on the side that's not protected. Last time I tried to fix the cover sheet, I couldn't relay it. So, I laid some parchment paper. We'll see what I do this time. Got greens and reds. This help. I 
feel like this isn't going this well this time. Sorry. This is a cute little kitten and some teapots. This is not going to go well. I'm pretty sure of that. But I'm going to try relaying this cover sheet to cover all the sticks. The static is real with this one. Horrible, but I think it'll work. Pull this back like this. I think I got it. There we go. Recovered. Cool. So that's a cute little kitten in a teapot. Uh, 24 colors. Yeah, looks like a nice drill area. Definitely sticky. The cat you might want to change colors in. It looks like it has two greens in it instead of brown gray colors. So you might want to change the cat a little bit. In all honesty, I think this set is all cute. But I don't know why I got it. Looking at all the canvases, it's like, that's a really cute diamond painting, but it's not my style. So. I don't know. This one's a hedgehog. Yeah, I looked at them forever, and it's like, they are cute, I want them, but at the same time, it's like, they're not really my style, so am I even going to work on them? Uh, 24 colors. Cute little hedgehog in a teacup. I have been drinking a lot of tea, so the tea cup portion are a lot more my style for, the, for that. Um, not bad. They're definitely sticky. I have that large Timu order that I'm sure I've mentioned in a few videos that got delayed and delayed and I got the $5 credit for it being late. It supposedly should be here tomorrow. Can't wait to do that because I have some paintings I really like in that. It's, these are nice, soft. Actually, this canvas feels softer than the other canvases. Hmm. This one feels quite soft. Let me go with something like first one we did. This definitely feels like a more rigid canvas and this one feels like a nice soft I like the softer one. It's interesting that the whole set is printed on uh, what feels like different media. The numbers are still in order. So I didn't change the image code or anything and give me like half an old set and half a new set. Oh, this one's a chocolate lab. Maybe I did name that one a black pod? Because this is a chocolate lab. So maybe this is a lab I had. Again, I keep my list on the computer. So I don't have it to look at. I don't... I don't know. I My writing is bad. So I, I hate using physical paper. <laughs> I just hate my handwriting. It's like, let's type everything out. I tend to take videos of all my paintings with the DMC codes and the sizes of it the item number. I tend to take video of all of that with the page in my storage book. I have it. Put the video on my computer. 
and flip through the video while I type it all out on my computer. So I don't have to have the books sitting in my lap while I do so. Although sometimes I do have the, the books sitting in my lap while I go through it. It might be easier to just write it all down, but I just don't like doing it. And I found the video is a good way for me to do it. This one's cute. A little flower pot. Some tools. Cute little brown lab. 24 colors again. Nice drill area again. The bees on the red. I've had bees on red in different paintings. That's not my favorite. But again, that looks to be the only one that I think is going to be a huge issue with me. So I know the one that I have a slight issue with is that one. The O's and R's are extremely similar in color, but I don't think the letter's similar. So I think that'll still be just fine. This one is the King Charles. Again, these are all puppies and kittens, which is another thing. I'm not a big fan of small dogs, although I love all animals. And I am definitely not a fan of puppies. <laughs> A lot of people like puppies. Give me a nice, at least, you know, three to five year old. Something that's a little more seasoned, right? Puppy energy, just not a thing I care for. And they're chewing and... No, no thank you. I'll take the older dog. Granted, all of my dogs I got as puppies. Because even though I don't like puppies, I really think it's easier to train them the way you want them from a puppy. This one's another really soft canvas. And then the cute puppy and the cupcakes and a blue background. 24 colors again. Now this one is probably one of my favorites out of the group. I also like the plant one, although the green is just a lot. My favorite colors are purple and then black and blue. I like to joke that I like a bruise. Not an old bruise. I don't want the yellow or anything, but purple, black, and blue. Doesn't that sound like bruise colors? And Ironically, I am one of those that bruises really easily, and every time I look, there's a new bruise. I have no idea how it got there. So, it's kind of funny for you. It's also kind of funny that I was just watching somebody that was saying that purple was their favorite color. Purple is my sister's favorite color, and it's my favorite color. For a while, my favorite color was just, like, black and red, but... Then I had a dog that I thought looked good in purple, and I started liking the color purple a lot. And it still looks very nice next to black. So. I don't mind a, a blue either. Purple, black, blue, red. I don't like pink. Green is green, yellow is the sun, like. <laughs> so this one's a little Boston Terrier. And again, I think it's another little candy box. You have the lollipop up here and whatever tiny little pastries those are. It's kind of a pink purple color background. 24 colors. Look at that face, look at those eyes. So, we got the Boston Terrier with 24 colors. We got the King Charles Spaniel, 24 colors. We got the Brown Lab with 24 colors. We got the Hedgehog with 24 colors. 
We have the kitten in the teapot with 24 colors. We have the black pug in the candy box with 24 colors. We have the cat in the sewing box with 24 colors. We have the uh, beagle in the basket with 24 colors. And we have the kitten with the purse with 24 colors. Again, I think they're all really cute. I think me personally, I would have liked a little bit more detail. So I would have liked uh, just that extra five centimeters to them. And again, I think they're really cute. I think they'd make really cute diamond paintings. I got them, but they're not quite the style of diamond painting I work on. So I may do them. I may ask my mom if she likes them, if she wants to work on them. Again, like I said, she's really slow at working on her diamond paintings. So we'll see what happens. That's that for the Amazon stuff. Like I said, I think I have a few more Amazon paintings coming.